Hey everyone, Don Daddy White here, and I just want to give you fair warning that my mic quality won't be the best in this episode, and that's for two reasons. Number one, we recorded in a public location. Spoiler alert. And number two, somehow my USB drivers got deleted, and I had to restore my computer to an earlier point in time. This actually affected my mic quality quite a bit, and not just in this episode, but in a future project that you'll see not too long after the release of this crazy Michaela Monday. The future project isn't too noticeable because we're still in a quiet room like we normally are, but when you tie a public location and the massive amounts of noise reduction I had to do, the quality just went downhill fast. I basically go from sounding like this to sounding somewhere around this. But I hope you still enjoy the episode because I don't want anybody to miss this crazy Michaela Monday. Hashtag crazy Michaela Monday on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Okay, well... This is uh, actually a weird situation, so I'm not even going to play the intro. First, I'm just going to let everybody know that this is... It's Crazy Michaela Monday! No! God, please, no! 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 <laughs> I think no should be right. So I was going to keep this a secret, but uh, Anthony and Maribel actually started trying to eat at the house, which was an issue. Because on Crazy Michaela Mondays, we go to a public place and film the podcast. And actually, we got real lucky. We chose Taco Casa in uh, Sony South Dallas. And it was actually completely empty. But as soon as we started recording, like three sets of families came in. <laughs> I'm okay with this. I'm not embarrassed at all. I just, <laughs> you know, I'm even recording on a pink mic right now. So this is cool. My uh, my intro and stuff is so loud. Ah. Uh, but okay, so uh, let's get into the show with the intro. You are listening to The Sweep. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep! Exclusively on YouTube. All praise the YouTube overlord. I can't believe you've done this. Hey, let's hope I can make it through this podcast because I think the taco cost is already hitting me. <laughs> and I might have to have a toilet break at one point. Should we say what we got? Pull out the old receipt? I mean, if you want to. Yes. Good thing he keeps all of his receipts. I keep all my receipts. People are like, God, you got so much money in your wallet. No, it's just receipts. No, it's all the evidence of me spending that money. Be like, have you seen my little drawer in my car? So, I had two spicy bean burritos. And since it's, uh, it's technically Taco Tuesday, but it's a crazy McKenna Monday to us. I also had two tacos at a a dollar as well. A large sweet tea, and then uh, El Pollo Loco had a super burrito. The medium Diet Coke, and B.A.B. had a super tostada, no olives with a medium Dr. Pepper. And then they went back and got more food. Yeah, so then we got uh, got one crunchy taco, she got two crunchy tacos, and I got a big burrito. Which I actually forgot, I got extra spicy, and then put more hot sauce on it. So yeah, uh, you already know it's a Crazy Michaela Monday, but let's uh, explain the day system. Crazy Michaela Monday. Double thumbs up Kent Tuesday. BJ Wednesday. F*** Dre Thursday. Slap House Friday. Then set your alarm so you can wake up with a sweep weekend patrol. Yo mama gay Saturday. Y'all need Jesus Sunday. I think we really need Jesus right now. I see a bunch more cars pulling up, so that's fun. Oh, this is going to be real interesting. I like how we're right by the door, too. Yeah, we're by the door. Well, at least we're in the corner of the store, and everybody else is in the opposite side of the store. Oh, yeah. That's great. Oh, boy. Oh, I also want to shout out to our uh, number one listener, Martin. Shout out to Martin. Thank you, Martin. Martin's the best. He watches every video. He does. There's the door opening up. Uh, Well, uh, I'm uh, Daddy White. Here at Taco Casa. Daddy White. Oh, yes, Daddy. Wrong. And of course, I'm here with El Pollo Loco. El Pollo Loco. Okay. Of all places to do that at. Yeah, for real. <laughs> at least uh, El Pollo Loco makes sense in, in Taco Casa. You know her, she's here. Uh, news girl, uh, you know, number one. Grace of all time, Brett Favre of podcasting, this Maribel Fuentes, uh, I don't know. Boss ass bitch. Let's die here. Yeet. Oh boy. Uh, today's topic is Power Rangers. I'm going to let uh, Anthony ramble a little bit before uh, we get into the news. Yeah, the most uh, obscure thing to talk about in the Taco Casa, which we should all be 12 years old at this point. 
Well, right now I'm a, I'm a big Power Ranger fan. Uh, Don is somewhat into Power Rangers, not as much as I am. I actually today picked up the uh, Red Ranger pop figure with the Dragon Shield from the Green Ranger. That's a great pickup. Definitely. Yeah, that's a really cool pop figure. And he also, I think, with that pop figure too, I saw he had the dagger that the Green Ranger also had. So he's in possession of that when he got the whole like little cloak thing. FYE exclusive. He has FYE exclusive. Right. And I also picked up Ultra Instinct Goku. But that's not Power Ranger related. I'm so glad that other people are moving to our side of the story. Oh, yeah. They want to hear about this Power Ranger podcast. What are you talking about? They're all interested. But we're really basically only going to be talking about Mighty Morphin. Oh, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll probably throw some other ones in, but Mighty Morphin mostly. Like the pop figures. Yeah, like the pop figures are. I mean, there's only them and just the movie ones. That's it. They're not doing, like, Lost in Space, Lost in Galaxy, any of those. Zio. One day. Maybe. One day. No, if they really were to do more pop figures, they might do Zeo. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Ninja Steel is super popular. Ninja Steel or... The new Ninja Steel or Ninja Storm? Ninja Steel. The newest, newest one. one yeah. One of the newest ones, okay. Because yeah, the production value went way up. Oh, God, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and you know, one thing that I found really weird is if you look up, like, where they're all filmed at, it's all New Zealand. Like, from, like, somewhere in, like, the early 2000s or so, it's only been filmed in New Zealand. Primarily only. I guess because they got better area. Well, I, I think the, I think to rent, oh, you know what, you know what I haven't considered? I just thought about this now. What if, like, the plot of land they use, they own? Saban must have bought it, which actually, uh, the Power Rangers are actually no un- no longer under Saban now. They're actually been purchased by Hasbro. Because at one point of they were course. purchased by Disney. Because Hasbro has made all their figures. Yeah, because at one point they were uh, purchased by Disney from up to um, RPM. And RPM was their last, uh, Disney's last season, which actually, if you watch RPM, that was a great series. Like, the production was high. The story was very dark compared to every other Power Ranger story, too, because it was post-apocalyptic. They live in a bubble. The outside air is literally toxic to them. Mm-hmm. And all the all the villains are mutants. Kind of somewhat similar, I think, to what Lost in Galaxy, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So everybody knows uh, we're actually going to a convention down in Corpus Christi. Sunny Corpus Christi. Um, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to meet Jason Frank. Yeah, Jason David Frank. Yeah, so that's going to be really interesting. Yeah, the original Green Ranger, the guy that played the White Ranger, and the Black Ranger in Dino Force. The one with the ear? No, Dino Thunder, my bad. Well, actually, he's, he's completely tatted. Oh, yeah. He's so tatted. And he fought in one professional UFC fight. Well, it wasn't even in the UFC. It was some, like, promotion where he fought some really fat dude. He beat him, obviously. <laughs> yeah, his record in professional MMA is 1-0. I'm like, okay. That's All good right. enough. Well, actually... Uh, you really want to hear this? I don't know if you knew this, but did you know Dave Batista has one professional fight also? I did not. Wow. Yeah, Dave Batista fought one time in MMA, and he's so jacked, and that guy was so fat. <laughs> it's like they do this knowing that they're going to win. I mean, I don't know. I was, I was pretty surprised when Bobby Lashley was winning. Bobby Lashley is huge. Yeah, but I mean, he ain't passing no steroid test. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he is smaller now. Maybe he got off it long enough. Well, it's like I told you before, like, the wrestlers aren't really allowed to take steroids anymore, which I don't understand why in wrestling you wouldn't be allowed to. You're not really hurting people. They're still illegal. It's because wrestlers went back and sued them. Well, then, uh, I think we should read the little bit of news I could find that I could uh, actually understand and write a complete sentence about. So, uh... Let's get into the news! That's a lot of damage! Like that toilet I'm about to give a lot of damage to. Oh, oh God. God. New tech stock. Okay. Power Rangers, 25th anniversary. <laughs> There's the door. Power Rangers, Super Ninja Steel's 810th episode called Dimensions in Danger. What is that? Hold on. I think I mistyped that. I think that's the 810th episode of Power Rangers, period. Yeah, I was about oh, to say, that so makes like, no <laughs> sense. <laughs> I was like, like one yeah. season. Ninja Seals episode of the 100 and whatever episode of Power Rangers. Okay, keep going. Call Dimension in Danger to come out August 28th is a special 25th anniversary episode. The Super Ninja Steel Rangers team up with legendary rangers in an epic battle to save the world. So the original rangers are going to come back. Oh yeah. Dimensions in Danger's a pretty slick name. In fact, it kind of has a shattered grid ring to it. 
I'm shattering my butthole thinking about it. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the good thing about it is that actually that's kind of an early, that's like a birthday present for me because that's one day after my birthday that that's going to premiere. Oh, that's true. But hey, okay, so if anyone's not been keeping up with Rangers and what they'll do, there actually is a sixth Green Ranger. I don't think he's in Steel, or he might be in Steel. So basically his power is that he can call upon any ranger from the past and use their powers. It's very weird. But on his costume alone, like he has like a little veil thing, kind of like the original Green Ranger did. But it has the mask of other Power Rangers from throughout the Power Ranger verse. They've been hinting at it, and I know they have like a teaser trailer type thing where like Shattered Grid is not something that they're actually doing. But really with the BAM comics and stuff, or Boom comics, my bad, Boom comics with what they're doing and I've read them. That's what Shattered Grid is about, you know, Tommy in an alternate timeline. He, he turned evil. He never became good. Well, I don't know about the legal aspect of it, like the copyright, but like Jason Frank is so in the community. Like he plays the Power Rangers all the time on YouTube and like multiple things. I don't know why they don't like crowdfund and get that done on like a YouTube video. I think they should because if you ever watch the little trailer for it, it's pretty high quality and I mean it looks good mm-hmm. and his character's name is Dragon, Dra- Dragon, Dragon or whatever his name is. Does he fight Rocky? <laughs> he might. <laughs> In Russia? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, Draken. There we go, Draken. Uh, now I remember his name. But uh it's a really cool aspect because it's it's so dark. It's not what you're usually used to with the kid stuff. Like the comics are for us now because when I was young and Don was young, that those cartoon those uh, shows were coming on. <laughs> we got fans. Yeah, I like how it came. No one was here. We were like, this is gonna be easy. Hey, the good news is we're not drunk on the podcast this time. Well, yeah. We couldn't have been. Imagine us at like McDonald's or somewhere. We'd be like, okay, so <laughs> just in the middle of freaking McDonald's. Which uh, actually, at some point, if uh, when we do another Crazy Michaela Monday, I want to go to a restaurant and sit in a booth and just record and then get kicked out. Uh, they're just going to wonder why two guys with huge laptops talking to the mics is not weird at all. No. No. So, um, back on subject. Uh, well, due to the Power Ranger news, the, 25, the 25th anniversary, there's going to be Power Ranger pop figures coming out. Like, all the Rangers, but not the White Ranger. He's actually, they just uh, decided to do Green Ranger, all un- unmasked with no helmet on. Then you got your uh, classics like uh, Rita, Zed, uh, Goldar, and then two other characters I don't know too much about that are be coming out. And then they have a limited edition Tiger Zord. That'll be Hot Topic exclusive. And the one that I really would like is the Morphicon exclusive uh, black and gold actual original Megazord, which I think is really cool. I don't understand Morphicon like a Power Ranger specific con. It's thing. the first year, though, I think. It was My Little Pony con, so. Yeah, that's true. I'm just watching this guy that picked up the uh, the free newspaper, and now he's watching TV standing up. Okay, well, <laughs> at least we're not the only one doing something weird. <laughs> My stomach really hurts right now. <laughs> uh, I haven't done the artwork for this uh, podcast yet. I keep wanting to say video because we're in a live location, so it may- keeps making me think like we're recording this yeah. like in video. We right. Could. But uh, we could... Our editor doesn't like video. I don't like videos. But I haven't done the artwork for this podcast yet, but it's going to be us as like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But I'm going to put Taco Costa drinks in all our hands. Oh, that'd be nice. Can you also, when you do mine, can you put me in a Power Ranger costume on the toilet? Yes. Thank you. Okay. This is going to be badly photoshopped. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Actually, I thought you were just going to take a picture of the Taco Costa receipt or something. No, actually, we, I talked about this. so. They asked for my name, and they printed on the receipt, and I immediately said Dawn, but I told them, I thought about it, I should have said Sweep, and then it could have been like a thing, so, missed opportunity. That's okay, it's, it's never too late to start, I'm just saying. I have to edit that out. <laughs> with the cough. Yeah, with the cough, immediately after I said I have to edit that out. Oh, goodness. Yeah, all y'all hear is a blank spot, I have to edit that out, cough, and then we <laughs> resume conversation. <laughs> Ain't I nothing sketchy going on here. I was waiting to get my uh, my sweet tea refill, and I was waiting for the cashier to be done uh, checking out the person. And he ran up and he was like, I'll get you a refill. And, he, and I was like, oh, yeah, can you put extra ice? Uh, and it's a sweet tea. Okay. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Oh, he must have knew that your name was Daddy White. Oh, yeah, he definitely knew I was Daddy White. Papi Blanco. Papi Blanco. <laughs> How do you say your name? Uh, What's Boss. 
Oh yeah, Hefe. Oh yeah, I've actually heard that. And then, uh, how do you say the A word? Kulo. I guess. That's, that's the hole, right? It's like the butt hole. Well, y'all, what is it, Nagaras? Yeah, if you want to go that way. If you want to go that route. Hefe, Nagra, Nagas, 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 Nagas. Oh, I know the B word. It's Puta, right? Puto. Puto. No, but it'd be the female version. Pluto? <laughs> it's not even a planet. Hey, I have you know it got put back in the planet category recently. So it's Jefe Nagras Puta? In the most terrible well, Spanish ever. <laughs> if you're. When you say Jefe, it's just for a guy, depending. For a girl, it's Jefa. Oh, Jefa. Or you mean Heifer? Nagras Puta. <laughs> okay. Well, that's Spanish lesson over for today. So, and your name's already in Spanish. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I'll put you a little. Too. Are you just calling me crazy chicken? Oh yeah. So apparently, our old project that we had, where we raised chickens. Oh god. They are now fully grown, <laughs> and they're giant. <laughs> and they're not the same color anymore. Little fries, basically. No, little fries like black now. And uh, <laughs> tank is the same color. <laughs> yeah. But fat. But Bert though. Is Bart totally Shane. not the same color. <laughs> Bert started out yellow. Yeah. And then he turned to white, and now he's like black. Hey, one of my brother's chickens was uh, yellow, fully yellow, mm-hmm. turned brown. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Jerry said. He's like, it don't matter what color they are now. He's like, they'll change. See? Like, that's the yellow. What the heck? <laughs> These are some full grown chickens. Why are they living in trash? No, that's her mom's house. Oh, oh. So her house is just like her. <laughs> Trash. It, you know what's funny when she shows me the picture of that is exactly how I imagined it. <laughs> you know when you buy a house it's completely trashed out. It's what happened. And only one room is functional. My uh, uncle went into my bathroom and said, "Oh God." When was this? Uh, last night. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but what's funny is my grandma loves me so much that when people say, like, hey, like your bathroom's like real dirty, that you get them to clean it, she gets mad at them. Wow. <laughs> She's like, why don't you mind your own business? I think your grandma's going to throw hands at people, basically. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty funny. Hopefully, what's, what's, what sides are good eyes, so they stay on that side? <laughs> Actually, I think we have the same bad eyes, so it'd be the left. Yeah. And yes, I had to close my eyes to remember. Lefty. Wow. Lefty. I mean, it's okay. Like, still, when people tell me to go left or right, I have to put my hands up because I still don't know. Oh, God. Be like, this one or this one? You know how many times people be like, oh, turn turn right, and all of a sudden I went left, and they're like, what the hell is wrong with you? I was like, my bad. <laughs> no, actually, I remember right because it's the hand I write with, uh-huh. so I just do this. Like, how you hold a pencil. Right. And I'm like, oh, okay, this makes sense. Because when I do it like this, it doesn't, like, I can't form the pencil like this. You know, I kind of had to learn somewhat of my left and right because it was almost like public shaming. Because back in fifth grade, like, you know, we were walking the lines. My teacher, he was kind of like military kind of. So, like, if you led the line, he'd be like, left, right, left, right. So I had to learn it by, there was this one pole that we always went by. So I'd be like, on one side, this is left, the other side is right. Because I didn't want to get embarrassed in front of the class. Actually, uh, there's one embarrassing thing. I still don't know my months. What? How? That's Wait. well. You I've know, never that's, learned. It. That's not. That's not that odd. Because I mean, if someone says, "Oh, five, I'm not going to be immediately knowing exactly what that is. I have to think about it for a May. second. Wait, wait, hold on. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. You think that's bad? When I was like in fifth grade and stuff, and we had problems because I never, still to this day, know my multiplication tables, like how you're supposed to learn them. So what I would do is my little cheat is I would go up to the 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 farthest multiplication number I knew yeah. and I would just start counting from there. I literally I would have tallies on my paper about how far I'd be counting. So say like if it was nine times eight, I would go up to about nine times five and then from five I'd count up. Well, people talk about uh, like common core math, but I actually learned common core math because I was dyslexic. Mm-hmm. So I actually I know it's wrong for normal kids to learn it because I learned it as a dyslexic kid. So when you're like, oh, what's 7 plus 7? Well, I'm like, 5 plus 5 is 10, then 2 plus 2 is 4, and then 10 plus 4 is 14. That's how I, that's how I do math. Well, I mean, everyone else learned That guy really own. was interested. <laughs> hey, he should be on the podcast, then. Come over, bro. I think this uh, episode is going to be a little shorter for two reasons. It's not, we're not going to end it now, but because we're in Taco Casa. <laughs> and we don't have enough. Number two, yeah, I don't know what we're going to talk about. 
I can't wait till Jonathan Cena. Yeah, yeah. Jonathan Cena listens to this. Is that his proper legal name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to talk about. I don't know much about Pine Rangers whatsoever. Well, I don't think we covered a lot already. Other than I don't know if there's going to be a second Power Ranger movie. The first one didn't do well in theaters. But what if they, since they're Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, what if they make them all transsexual? Yes. Okay. Oh god, my stomach's really hurting now. <laughs> I, go. I think that statement just upset me. <laughs> do we need to end the show? Yes, we do. Okay, well, uh. Oh, no. <laughs> well, uh. Sorry, get the sweats. Honto anigato gozamas. Habenai guten tag. To madres pollo. To padres nada. <laughs>